Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so part two of being at Kathleen's studio in Fort Myers, Florida. So if you watched my last video, I told you guys all about my trip to Fort Myers and I went to go see um, Kathleen from Cause Creations and I was there with uh, Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio and Billy from Fluid Art Co. was also there, which you can't see them because they're just on the other table. But so what you see here is me on the right hand side and um, Jeremy from Massey Art Studios on the left. Now, what we're doing is we are doing a landscape swipe. So the top part of my canvas, now I've got a strip of blue tape in the center, as you can see, and the top half um, did get a top coat of, or a coat of white paint. And the paint is all mixed with GAC 800, Floetrol, Liquitex pouring medium, and a dash of water to thin it out. And all the paints must be the same consistency. So what you see here and what you've already seen is we are pouring the blue colored paints into a little cup and Kathleen says you got to pour it from up high because the higher you pour it from then they mix together when you put them in the cup and you want them to kind of mix up so I did the first top half and I did light colors so I did the light light blues and now the second cup I'm doing is a couple of shades darker of blues because the top is supposed to be the sky and the clouds and all of that and so and then you just do a darker layer and as you can see i'm running out of white there however you are supposed to drip the paint from up high because that gives it a chance to mix as you can see you see how it's sinking into the cup so that is what i'm doing and then what you do is you flip it onto the canvas super duper carefully now it was funny because lee kept spilling his paint and knocking over his cups and making a mess in Kathleen's studio. We were all laughing so hard, but he did clean it up. So here I am here with my cup and I'm going to flip it. There you go, flip it. And then what you do is you just take a push pin and you poke a hole at the top of the cup that allows airflow to go into the cup so that when you drag the cup across the canvas, it, you know, it's easier and it's not like a suction cup. So once you get a little air in there, you just kind of carefully, slowly drag your cup all the way across and let all the paint out. Now, when you're tilting this, I got yelled at a lot by Kathleen. You're only supposed to pick up, what she says is you should always have two push pins on the table at all times. So if I picked it up from the left hand side to tilt it, you must keep the right hand side push pins on the table at all times. Never pick up the entire canvas. And she kept yelling at me. She's like, put the canvas down and and make sure two two of the push pins are still touching the table. See how she's showing me? She's like, the push pins are touching the table. Don't pick it up fully off the table. So what you're supposed to do is just literally let the paint slide from one side to the other and you're supposed, see, I picked it up and <laughs> she's going to yell at me because I picked it up. Shouldn't pick it up. But so I'm trying to get all the excess paint off. You cannot keep a um, big amount of paint on the canvas. You just got to keep tilting, tilting side to side until the paint just doesn't move anymore. So that is the tip Kathleen gave us. Just keep going from side to side, side to side, until the paint does not move anymore. Because if you end up having a ton of paint on the canvas, it's probably gonna crack on you. It's just not gonna be a good thing. So you just keep tilting side to side until it's just not moving anymore. So I'm gonna speed you guys up a little bit and I'll be back with some more talking. All right, so now you see I'm peeling the tape off. I've tilted enough so that the paint, there's not much paint going on there. So you peel the tape off. And now I'm going to be putting another white layer along the bottom half of the canvas. 
So here's me mixing up a bunch of more white because I need more white. Now, um, as you can see on the left-hand side, Jeremy's blue sky is looking good, and he's opted for a sandy desert theme, maybe, I think it was, um, color palette. So that is what he's doing on his side. So I've got my white, mixing it up, and I'm going to put that layer along the bottom. And as you can see, there it is. And then you got to tilt it side to side, not up and down because you're going to mess up the top half. So you, and Kathleen's still yelling at me, put, see, she's like, put it down. So I put it down. Um, and so you just tilt side to side. Don't, don't do up and down nonsense. Um, and now you're doing your dark colors. So here I am. I am from up high pouring all my colors in. I've got some um, metallic cobalt blue, I believe. Yeah, there it goes in there. Um, so I've done doing two cups and I'm doing different shades. I actually changed up the colors in both those cups and you'll see I'll flip them over, poke a hole in them, drag them out and just keep watching. So I didn't like the way the bottom was looking, so I did yet another cup and added some lighter colors because when you look at the ocean, the shoreline is always a light color, and then the deeper you go into the ocean, the darker the blue gets. So that is why it's a lot darker right in the center because the bottom of the canvas is supposed to be the shoreline, and then you have the deeper waters, which is the darker blue in the center. So that is why the center is dark blue. So this is where Kathleen is now showing me how to swipe the bottom half. So what she has is, again, wet paper towel. And in that little cup there in the top corner there is just white paint with uh, Australian Floetrol because Australian Floetrol creates incredible cells. So she told me to take little pieces of paper towel, dip it into that cup that has the white paint and the Australian Floetrol. And as you can see, I'm just swiping back and forth, back and forth, and I'm just creating a design. I'm not really sure what I was doing, but I was just trying to make more cells appear. So I just kept swiping and swiping until I got the look that I wanted. All right, so now I have a popsicle stick with some, I think it was like Payne's Gray, I believe. And Kathleen's like, do a few lines you know, add some like little lines in there. And then I started doing it. And then sometimes you just really need to know not to touch it or when to stop. Like sometimes you just do it. And then, so I was doing this and then I'm like, mm, not liking it so much. I wasn't really thrilled. It just didn't look natural. It just looked like a blue streak. So I kept fidgeting and I was not having it. So I was like, no, I'm done with that. So I put that away and then I'm like, and now I need to fix it because there's this just blue strip there and I didn't like it. So I'm trying to fix it with like a lighter blue and then I'm like really starting to screw it up and I'm not happy with it. So you'll see in a minute, I just take a paper towel and swipe over the whole thing again because I was just not happy with what I was doing. So I just took a paper towel and swiped over it and fixed it. And there you have it. The piece is complete. I was really happy with the end result. You'll get a quick little close up. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little swiping video, landscape swiping video. Thank you to Kathleen for teaching us your ways. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.